need FIFA coins, check out the fifashop.co.uk. What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We have got a 7 minute squad builder for you guys now. We're going to be using Inform Origi from this week's team. The week I've been trying to get a centre-back Alaba version uh, of the 7-minute squad builder out, but I cannot find him on the transfer market anywhere, which is an absolute nightmare because he looks like an amazing player, uh, and I can't use him, unfortunately. But uh, we're going to go ahead and move into the store to get a next player. But first of all, we need to go ahead and grab ourselves on formation. I'm actually going to make this a little bit brighter um, so you guys can see maybe better. Okay, so here is the formation hat, as you guys know. The formation we are going to be using today is going to be a 4-2-2-2 formation, which is pretty sweet indeed. Okay, so the 4-2-2-2, that's quite, it's quite an easy formation to, to kick back into things, to be fair. Um, and we're going to go ahead and open one 7.5k pack and pray that we get something decent to build a hybrid around as well as Inform Origi. Okay, we managed to get De Guzman. Um, who else have we got? Okay, just the Guzman. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Um, could have been a lot worse, to be fair. But, you know what, it's still not actually that great. Okay, anyway, the Guzman. There we go, we'll store him in the club. He is going to be our right centre attacking mid, I think. Um, just thinking about the squad now, I've got a pretty decent idea already as to what I want to go ahead and do. So, the time is going to start in 3, 2, 1. There we go, the timer has started. Right, okay, so, first player we're going to go ahead and buy. Um... Yeah, don't really know, to be fair. Um, okay. <laughs> Probably should have should have thought about this maybe a little bit better than this. But, um, yeah, first player that we're going to go and buy, actually. Okay, we're going to go into the Bundesliga. Now, I don't want to spend loads of coins on this because I want it to be, you know, somewhat affordable. Otherwise, I would have actually gone ahead and bought this Man of the Match De Bruyne. But I'm not going to. Um, we're going to go ahead and just buy the normal De Bruyne. Where is he? Come on, come on, come on. Where is the normal De Bruyne? Please just find him for me. Please. This would be nice. Um, okay, well, it looks as though we can't find one. A normal De Bruyne. Okay, we're just going to add this, norm this, this one to our transfer targets, okay? Um, and then CDM, what we're going to go ahead and do is CDM League Earn. Okay, Ligan, where is it? Come on, Ligan. Ligan, Portugal. Actually, no. No, 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 no. We basically just need a Monaco CDM. That's as simple as that. Okay, uh, Condogbia would be flipping fantastic. I actually really, really, really rate this guy in real life. Um, I think he's a fantastic player. A really, really, really good player, to be fair. So, Condogbia is going to be our CDM. Now, for the left-back spot, we're going to have to go ahead and buy a Bundesliga Wolfsburg player to obviously get De Bruyne that decent link. So there we are, uh, Rodriguez, can we get his... Okay, I reckon we could go ahead and get that. But actually, I'm just going to keep this as affordable as I possibly can, okay? So we're going to assign him now. I want to make this kind of like... Potentially like a 50k squad um, apart from Origi or whatever um, So it could be like a 100k squad because I respect that you guys might not be able to sell your players at the moment um, And yeah, you guys might not have the most coins in the world So let's move on to the next player then um, Well, okay, I'm gonna have a little look at the formation quickly We do need to include the Guzman in there somewhere so Condogbia uh, I guess, I guess we could go over Pogba. Um, and then Carlos Tevez, couldn't we? That is a pretty pretty decent option, actually. So, let's go France now. Uh, Syria. CDM. And we'll have a little look and see who we could pick up. Okay, so Pogba is about 30,000 coins, which is actually pretty decent, to be fair. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pick him up. He can be our CDM. I'm pretty happy with that, to be fair. We've got two absolute machines there in that CDM spot. And then striker, we can go ahead and buy an Argentinian... Well, any player from Juventus, to be fair. It kind of just has to be that or a, or a French striker up top from the Serie A. But I feel like the best option would be to go for Carlos Tevez. Uh, he's 5,600 coins, which... You know what? You can't really get better value for money than that. For Carlos Tevez, he is an animal in this game. So, where do I go from here? That is the question. Now, I've got quite a few different options that I can actually go ahead and do. Now, we've got 3 minutes and 39 seconds left on the clock. 
Klopp, <laughs> um, not Klopp, uh, but left back we've got Rod Rodriguez, CDM we have got Pogba, striker, then we have got Carlos Tevez. Now, De Guzman needs another link. I don't want to stay in the Serie A, so we're going to look elsewhere, but thinking about it, um, we can literally do anything we want. I'm pr um, obviously, I'm going to be able to do this squad in time. Um, so don't worry about that, but we're going to look at a right back now, a Dutch right back, and we're going to have a little look and see if there's any that we can go ahead and pick up. Van der Ville is probably one of the better options and most likely options that I think we'll go ahead and look at. Um, so yeah, Van der Ville, we're going to use him for the right back spot. He looks like a good player that we should pick up and use in the team. He's cheap as well, which is always great. Um, so, we've got Serie A, Liga and Bundesliga. I do want to move off into somewhere else though somehow, um, which yeah is a is one of my main main things I want to do. Um, okay, well we need to have a little think about this, but I'm thinking potentially what we can go ahead and do is I don't really want to stay in the league, and that's the thing. God, I need to get a move on really here. Um, yeah, I really do. I really need to get a move on. Okay, well, no, that's not gonna work. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, right, <laughs> shit. Oh no, this could be bad. Okay, right, let's go centre back now. France, Ligue 1 and PSG, okay? PSG, is there any French guys? Okay, so there's only this guy, Kamara. Okay, this is bad. This is quite bad. France. Um. God. Okay. France. No, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Okay, so what we're going to go and do, we're going to go ahead and buy Inform David Louise. We'll place a bid on him there. Shit, I just need to get this done, don't I? This is not good. This is not good at all. Um, I think what we might just do is just stay, it's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna stay in the league earn, okay? We are gonna stay in the league earn. I think that's just the best way to do it. Otherwise, I just think we're gonna be stretching the team too much. We're gonna go ahead and by Perrin for our left centre back spot, we'll assign him now. We've got 42 seconds left, there we go. Um, and then for the goalkeeper spot, let's go ahead and buy anyone we actually want to. And then that'll be the team done. So we have got, let's say, Ruffier, Sirigu, Stecklenburg. There's quite a few different options. Lopez was a really bad keeper for me, but I've, I'm gonna give him another chance. Why not? We may as well give him another chance. So, there we go, Lopez has been bought. Um, yeah, that is the team done, and we've got 12 seconds to spare. Now, I'm gonna see you guys in a second once the team is in the starting 11, and we can go ahead and move into a game. See you then. Guys, this is the finished squad now. As you can see, the left CDM spot is filled by Mavuba and not Kondogbia. Now, I made a really silly mistake, which I just put my hands up enough for now. Um, I know Origi plays for Lille, but when I looked at his badge, for some reason, something in my mind said AS Monaco, and I think it's because I was thinking about Arsenal AS Monaco the other night. Um, that's the only reason I can think of it. But I do apologise. Uh, the team gets 100 chemistry, um, and I only got 97 with Kondogbia, because Origi obviously only got uh, 7 or 6 or whatever. So I do apologise for that massively. Um, but we're, we're going to head into a game now. I think this looks like a pretty cool team, if you ask me. Serie A, Liga, and Bundesliga hybrid um, and yeah hopefully it'll play well in game all right guys so this is our opponent and he actually has man of the match vieto which is the player that i'm using for uh, my fatal series so yeah that's pretty cool he's also got Speroni in goal, Manolas, he's got Levetsi, Pastore, quite a few decent players to be fair. Um, I reckon we can do a pretty good job and I reckon we can come out of a win. Fingers crossed this team plays pretty well and I do like the 4-2-2-2 formation. So I think everything is, is kind of going our way at the minute. Oh, look at that challenge then. Go on Origi, use your pace. Let's see how good he is. Okay, that was just poor. That was really poor. It's like he didn't have any acceleration at all. So hopefully that's not how he's going to play. 
The thing that I don't like about Origi is that he's very, very, very weak on the ball. I don't know what it is, but he just seems, you know, like as soon as... Oh, God, what is going on there? Yeah, it just seems like as soon as he gets on the ball, if anyone touches him, then he's just getting he's getting pushed off the ball super, super, super easily. And that is not... Oh, God. He's off. David Luiz is off. David Luiz is off. Don't do this to me, lads, please. I can't be having a red card this early on. Oh, my God. This ha See, this is the thing. This happened in the Fatal episode, um, on episode two, when I was playing against someone and Thiago Silva did the exact same thing and I was sure it was going to be a stonewall penalty because that guy is through on goal. Um, yeah, he sh that should have really been a red card, to be honest. That's going to be a goal. Oh, my God. How has that not gone in? Go on. Oh, he's done brilli brilliantly. Go on, Tevez now. Oh, my God. Tevez, see, he did so well there. But... We can't really seem to get a shot away, and I don't like it when Vieto runs at me. I know how good he is. Get that touch there. That was vital, that touch. Oh my god, come on, please, please, please. Goalkeeper. <sighs> okay, we've conceded early on. Uh, I could kind of feel it coming anyway, but doesn't mean that we're not going to go on and win this match. It's still very early doors. Yeah. Here we are. Another great opportunity. Another great opportunity. Oh, God, he's not going to be able to keep hold of that, is he? I knew it. I knew it. That touch was just too big. I really don't actually like Origi, I don't think, at the moment. Uh, maybe until he scores, then I'll have a little bit more confidence in playing with him. But, yeah, at the moment, he's not playing too well for me. Don't really like him. But here we go. Tevez is on the ball. Surely this has got to be 1-1. There we go. In the 40th minutes, just before half-time, Tevez grabs an equaliser and we are straight back into this match. Pretty happy with that, to be fair. Not too sure if Origi was in the ball, whether he would have been able to finish it. Well, that's going to be the half-time whistle. Pretty even half, to be fair, at the start of the match. He was playing much better, um, to be honest. But I think as the game's kind of progressed and gone on, I definitely feel like I've got more, than, more of a fighting chance than I did at the start. Obviously, because I'm 1-1. But more... Oh, God. Really? 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 None of my defenders could get anywhere near him, then. That's poor. Right, come on, Origi. Come on, son. Go on, here we go. There we go, Origi. It's a penalty. Apparently, he's been pulled. Apparently, he's been fouled or something like that. And I don't actually know how. I really don't know how. That's a gift that has been gifted to me. We'll have a little look at the replay anyway. But um, yeah, it seems here. Okay. Okay, the guy's putting a foot and I've tripped over it. That is pretty soft, to be honest. But, um, yeah, we're going to take the penalty of Origi. I feel like he needs a little bit of confidence uh, in him. And I want to get him on the score sheet. So, fingers crossed he can. What are, what are his penalties like? Okay, well, they're awful, apart from the power. So, this could be pretty difficult. Okay. Come on. I'm not sure if this is going to go in, to be honest. No, there we go. I shouldn't have taken it with Origi, but here we are. There we go. <laughs> That's the penalty again. Another penalty and someone is Skype calling me. I do apologise. Okay, another penalty. Uh, Origi, second chance to try and get on the score sheet now. Right, we're gonna. he's using his tactics again. He's using his tactics with his goalkeeper. Spironi is all over the shop um, trying to put me off. So, right, come on. What can we do here? We're going to go the same way, I think, but go top left. Come on. There we go. We have sunk the penalty. And the second time of asking, Origi is now on the score sheet, which I'm pretty happy with, to be honest. Uh, I felt like he deserved a goal. And now we're in the driving seat. We can do literally whatever we want now in this match, but I just do not want to concede. That's obviously um, something that we cannot do. That would just be poor. Oh, God, really? No, 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 no. Oh, my God, I thought David Luiz was going to clip him then. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on, there we are. De Bruyne. De Bruyne, little dink over the top. <laughs> oh my god, that would have been insane. That would have been such a nice goal. Okay, goal. Don't understand this game sometimes. That was so poor. Serious bad news. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> that so almost went in. That so almost, but that has given us a massive lifeline. So we're going to have to go into extra time, which is a bit annoying, but it's fine. Hopefully we can get a goal and um, obviously go on and win the match. Shit. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Go on, get round him. 
Should have been able to get around him there, surely. Okay. Sick. Sick. De Guzman is probably our best bet. Come on then. Let's see if we can get the sim. It's not going to go in. But it was worth a shot. And it did actually trouble the keeper pretty, well, quite a lot to be fair. Okay, De Guzman. Please don't be offside. Okay, it's not. Go on. Get the head in now. No. Oh my God. How has that not gone in? How has that not gone in? Get it into the mixer, lads. Come on. Come on. Head on it. Fuck. <sighs> there we go. So that is going to be the end of the video. Now I did actually manage to win the match, which was pretty random. Um, you know, winning on penalties is never really uh, that big a deal or that fun. I, I just, it, it's just a bit. I don't really enjoy it. I don't really enjoy play, having a penalty shootout uh, if it's been a really, really even match. But um, yeah, if you if you guys enjoyed the video, then please be sure to drop a like. That'd be absolutely amazing. And um, if you guys want to see a, another video later today as well, can we smash 2,000 likes? That'd be insane. Um, I'm going to be doing some more seven minute score builders just on my own. I know you guys, you know, do like the ones with other YouTubers as well, and then some of you don't like them. If you don't like the ones with other YouTubers, just don't watch them because I will be uploading these ones on my own just as much. Probably more actually, most likely more. Um, so yeah, if you want to see one with a new team of the week, then let me know in the comment section below. Have a nice day, subscribe, and peace.